what's up guys i am currently in the process of filling back in the heel cave um have a bunch of stuff that came in this week so i figured i would uh open it right here on youtube this will be my weekly purchase i'll show you everything that came in from the past week that i have to bring down here um so we got this hitman pop which i completely forgot about and i just never picked up uh, it was pretty cool he's got the jacket the pretty good deco i'll open this one soon but um I, i'm i'll be honest i'm not the biggest bret hart guy but uh i think this is an awesome awesome figure um i got some brawlers in i got the blue meanie big fan of mine of the meanie shout out to meanie and Chernoff. Um, they had my boy Tommy Avalone on and he gave me a nice little shout out. So shout out to them. Got Dustin Rhodes, the natural. I think it's cool that he actually has back deco. Pretty good likeness. I like how they just have like his head shot from his acting. Got Terry Funk. Funk U shirt. Now these were six fifty each on for wrestling tea, so I couldn't pass him off. Um, got Scott Steiner, Big Pop Pump. Got the chainmail headgear on. I picked up this uh, mint on card, um, Chris Jericho, solely because I've been struggling to find one to replace my current. Jericho that I have because his face is crooked you can see that like his mouth is like printed off to the side so now try and zoom get this focused you can see that this new one's a little bit better so I'm gonna get rid of this guy um I ordered this True Moves Bray Wyatt, which I've wanted for a long time, and the guy had it listed as brand new mint on mint on card, this, that, and the other. It's been opened. I was not happy about that. Contacted him. Uh, he said he'll give me a partial refund, which he did. But still, like, I would have just preferred to have a mint in box True Moves Bray Wyatt, but what are you going to do? I think it's cool that they have him posed in his... Uh, pose that he used to do i was gonna call it the let me in pose but i don't know if it's called that and i always wanted this grand metalique because it's the first it's the actual first time in a line grand metalique technically so i kind of wanted that but never found it big bray wyatt guy so i needed that i also got this in miss elizabeth As a manager of the Mega Powers, the first lady of WWE had an itsy bitsy teeny weeny surprise for the Mega Bucks at SummerSlam 1988. And there she is. It's like the removable skirt. Very cool, and in my opinion, an iconic figure. My um, my boy Billy hooked me up with this Rick Rude. And the same day he got me that, they went live on Amazon for $19.99. So I picked another one up, hoping that it'd be the chase. It was not, but it's the variant. Um, I hate dealing with Amazon returns, even though they're, they'll are they come pick it up. I just don't like doing it. So I'm going to hold on to this. I have both versions of Rick Rude. So yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll do a trade or something. Pretty cool. Um, I didn't get this in this week that's just a piece i had to bring down so working on the elite walls you can see and they go up there all the way around pretty cool now this uh i'm gonna try and do this on camera it's gonna be tough actually turned off the camera on accident so this i was excited i ordered a mint on card rockers and the guy said that the bubble's coming off a little bit for sean i was like you know what that's not a bid that's not a big deal for me i'll just get it as a placeholder so i opened it the other day and 
Marty and Sean completely off the card, not even effortlessly just came off. I contacted them and said, hey, man, like, they must have came off in shipping, whatever. Like, I just want to return. I'll return this to you. Guy was real cool about it. He said, I'm really sorry. He said, only Sean was lifted, I guess, shaking around in the shipping box, made them fall off. Um, he said, I'm just going to refund you. Don't worry about sending it back. So that's pretty cool, I thought of him. So I'm going to take these Marty and Sean figures, and now I have perfectly mint rockers, which I think is a pretty cool thing. Perfectly mint, loose, fresh off the card rockers. Um, and it's cool. They have like tape here to protect the, um, the paint on the figures. But, um, yeah, I was really bummed. I really wanted the mint on card rockers because it's the only tag team set besides demolition that I'm missing, but the pursuit continues. Um, it's always cool to see the backing card. It was an American card, too, which is why I was like, you know, it's lifted. It's getting harder to find the American cards. I don't like the foreign cards for the tag teams because I literally have these three on American. So I just want them all on American. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. You know, beggars can't be choosers. So the pursuit continues. But, yeah, so that are those are my gets for the week. Um Still working on the heel cave. Uh, see a video very soon about the whole process that that's been because it's been a long one, uh, long month, and it's going to be an even longer couple of weeks filling all of these shelves with loose figures. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Fig Heel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. Check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure coloring books, volumes one, two, three, and four, which. And Color Mania, sorry, which features volumes 1, 2, and 3 for a discounted price. And go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure coloring books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.